All right, we're gonna talk about how to replace the brake pads on a C7 Corvette. This would be a 2014 or a 15. Um, it's a really straightforward process. After you've got the wheel removed, the only thing you're gonna need is a hammer and a 1 8 inch pin punch. You're gonna knock out this pin here and this pin here with a pin punch. This uh, anti-rattle spring here will come off and the pads will slide right out. Um, all right, so all you do is you put your pin punch here like this. Just gently tap out the pin. Come out and take the tension off the pin with the spring here and pull the pin out the back, just like that. Same thing goes with the bottom pin. Just very gently. Slide the pin out the back. The hardware comes loose there. There's your pin. And I found that uh, with the pads, you can get in here with a pick or a screwdriver. Sometimes you can just pull them out with your hands as well. Now the front pads might come out a little bit hard because there is a sticky backing on the back of the pad that gets stuck to the piston on the caliper. There's a little more effort required to get the front ones off. Just like that. You notice there's an arrow on the pad. This pad also has your, your, low, uh, your low pad indicator on it. The arrow goes the direction that the rotor spins when going forward. So on this particular, we're on the right rear. Since the arrow points down, the rotor turns this way when going forward. Your indicator goes to the top. Alright, got your new pad here. Again, arrow down, indicator to the top. And now the rotor goes this way. Slide the pad in. You basically want to line up the holes here for the pins with the holes in the caliper. Just like that. Now depending on the thickness of your new pads compared to the old ones, um, you may have to push the pistons back on the caliper. If that's the case, get a rag and a screwdriver and just gently, just gently pry the uh, I'll show you here like this. You get a rag and put it in here and just pry against the just pry against the rotor like that. And push the two pistons in on the back and then push the two pistons in on the on the outside as well. Just like that. Line up your holes in the pad with the holes in the caliper, get your um, anti-rattle hardware, hold it in place, slide the pin in from the back. Like that. Now it won't push in all the way right away, you have to tap it in from the back side. So all you can do is just look at the hole right here and line the pin up and get it pushed in as far as you can. And then to get it started, just gently tap on it like that. So the top pin, now you want to compress your spring like this. Slide the pin in. Take your pin punch from the back side and seat the pins all the way. You know they're seated all the way. The pin will be the surface or the head of the pin will be slightly below the flat surface of the caliper. Um, you'll also notice that it'll stop. It'll stop. Uh, it'll stop going in once the, you feel the resistance change. So don't don't, don't give her too much force. Just tap it in, and, and you'll know when to stop.
the top one, uh, you know, the ping punch may be too long. So if you can get a little, like a little Allen bit or, or something to use as a punch, you can come in from the back side and get it tapped in. Don't slip, otherwise you'll chip the paint on the caliper. Here we go. And you can see the pins here and here, if I can get to focus, here and here. You can see they're, they're slightly protruding through. And on the back side, you can see the pin right there. And the other one is right there. You can see they're slightly below the surface of the caliper. So that's all there is to it to change the brake pads on a 2014 C7 Corvette. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to uh, mention that in the video below. Thanks, guys.